Okay, so in front of us, we have an example f of x is equal to the square root and the radicand or what, what is underneath the radical is e raised to the negative x power. And then still under the radical, we have plus the natural log of 2x. And we wanna find the derivative of this. And so we're gonna to have to be applying a lot of different rules that we've been using to find derivatives. I notice because we have this square root function, we wanna rewrite that without the radical. And that's the same thing as that all raised to the one half power. So we have f of x is equal to, and that means that we're gonna to have to use the chain rule on that piece. And the inner piece is e to the negative x, which I also notice that when I take the derivative of that piece, I'm gonna to have to use the chain rule plus, and then the natural log of 2x, when we take the derivative of that inner piece right there, we're also gonna to have to use the chain rule. So we have um, a lot of different chain rules going on in here. So let's first write out part of it. So we're taking the derivative f prime of x, and we're looking at our outer function, which is this to the one half power. So using our power rule, bring our one half down and subtract one from our exponent. So one half minus one or one half minus two halves, common denominator is negative one half of our inner piece, which is e to the negative x plus the natural log of two x times the derivative of the inner. And the inner piece is this. So times d dx, we haven't taken the derivative and we'll come back and do it in a second. e to the negative x plus natural log of two x. So cleaning it up and taking the derivative of that inner piece, we have f prime of x is equal to well, this negative exponent I can bring down to the denominator and I can rewrite it as a radical. So I'm gonna do that. So I would have one all over with this two here times the square root of this inner piece, e to the negative x plus my natural log of two x times the derivative of the inner. So let's start taking the derivative of the inner. So remember, if we have y equals e to the gx, the derivative of that is the derivative of the exponent times e itself, e to the gx. So the derivative of our exponent, derivative of negative x is negative one, all times e itself, e to the negative x. Plus, now let's look at the derivative of natural log of 2x. So we just saw that if we have y is equal to natural log of g of x, that the derivative of this is equal to 1 over the inside, g of x, times the derivative of the inside. So we could technically just put the derivative of the x, um, inside in the numerator. So derivative of 2x is 2 all over what we're taking the natural log of, which is 2x. So let's simplify this a little bit and rewrite it. Um, I notice we have a 2 in the numerator, 2 in the denominator. Those cancel. We have a negative exponent. So this could be brought down to the denominator to make that exponent positive. And so if we do this, our derivative is equal to, we have this negative one, that's all that we really are left with in the numerator, negative one all over this two here, square root of e to the negative x plus the natural log of two x. And that is all times bringing this e to the negative x down to the denominator, e to the x. I would probably pull that e to the x in front of the radical and between the two and the radical, but it's the equivalent. 